Hey, welcome back everybody. So I am about to begin a rather significant project, at least for me recently, uh, based on this book here, here, Battlefields in Miniature by Paul Davies. Now I did a podcast on this book probably two months ago, not the most recent podcast, which was on campaigns, but the one before that. And I indicated in the book that the one thing I really liked about this book, which is all about building miniature and war game terrain, was how the author made it seem like anybody could do these these projects. I mean, the way the pictures show the steps, the way he outlines the text. I mean, you really get to feel that anyone could do these projects. So one of the first projects he built is in the section called a uh, custom custom terrain so we're gonna go there and in the custom terrain section he talks about making a harbor and canals right now these are the only supplies he says you need foam board wallpaper cocktail sticks pins wet and dry paper and thick card that's it right and he says we're gonna be able to build some harbor and canals now this is what we're going for which is pretty impressive. Now, obviously the buildings will not be on there. You have to put your own buildings down. This is the layout he gives. So each of these is a section of board and the blue is going to be the canals or the rivers. This is him lining up some of his uh, foam. This is him building the foam structures. I am going to do mine a little different because basically he builds foam platforms which become these here so i am going to do mine a bit different than that but when it's all said and done i think i can do this i'm going to combine a couple other techniques he builds a bridge i actually have some uh resin bridges so i won't be doing the bridge uh he does some porculuses down here which i will i do want to do those uh these are some bollards which are very easy to do he just used some uh stick pens for like a bulletin board so i'm gonna do that so there's the porculus again that is a mooring so i want to build that mooring uh and then he goes on to a different terrain but this is what the project we're going to be working on a harbor and a canal and so i just wanted to show you how i'm going to start i have a two by two piece of uh, plywood that I got at Lowe's. One of the only things I could get. Normally I wouldn't use plywood, but this is actually not that heavy. And the good thing is I can, I can get some more. So if I decide to expand the board, uh, I can just do more sections because assuming this is going to be a port, I really only needed to maybe occupy one corner of a board. Now I do have a bigger section of board I bought while I was there, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I think it's four by two and i just don't i don't feel like messing with it right now and i don't have anything to cut it uh i'm going to be using some of this loctite i've never tried this this is like premium adhesive sort of like liquid nails uh got a hand sander i'm going to just sand the edges there's still a few little wood shavings but i just wanted to show you guys how we're going to be getting started with this project uh this will obviously be my base now normally just so it would be lighter i would have used some uh xps foam board but i don't i don't have a sheet that's uh the thickness and the width that i need and i don't really have anywhere of getting it right now so i'm gonna have to work with uh i'm gonna have to work with this but like i said so uh i will be updating this video as we go uh just kind of letting you guys keep track of the progress all right see you so we are back uh, it's probably been about a half an hour and you can see that the canal is starting to take shape these are some uh, styrofoam cutouts from uh, a package I opened I think I was building a bookcase or something I've been keeping them for a while and I knew sooner or later I'd use them so to do the channel I decided to make it a width of one of my uh, toy ships so I'd be sure to get some ships in there I've got the bollocks on now I've even put some uh, some kind of anchor post with those tree trunks that we got at the dollar store. And I wrapped some uh, 
some of this cord around them which you can get at the dollar store as well now I'm going to show you guys uh, kind of what is going to be the interior of the canals so on this side you can see this is going to be like a grading wall and I may try to run a stick on there those are matchsticks uh, I tried to glue them in but I wound up having to use hot glue but you got to be careful because too much hot glue if you move it will melt this type of styrofoam this one is shuttered with basically just some wood and this one is going to be like a gate or a fence so that is I didn't have any granny grating which I haven't been able to find or what basically uh, knitters mesh so this is just the stuff you get like if you buy a bag of oranges now if we turn around to this side I decided to use uh, toothpicks there which are longer and they come all the way down so they close that whole side off in the middle of this one I put the grating and on this one I've actually got some large kind of bars which I'm going to paint kind of iron you know maybe the ships can anchor themselves or tie themselves there during the storm these are already secured if you can basically see with the uh, it's not E600 but it's like that it's called uh, Loctite Premium so and again I thought that would give me a better more permanent bond and uh, so I put that down I'm kind of letting that dry I'll probably I haven't put any weights on this I don't hopefully I won't need to because this is pretty light but uh, now I am pretty much at the point where I am going to start coating all of this with some uh, caulk and sand now in the video I, I keep saying the video in the book Paul Davies just put uh, wallpaper over here is like brick colored wallpaper which I mean you can do that but I don't really think wallpaper would stick to this first of all and secondly I don't want to deal with wallpaper peeling and coming up so I'm going to take some uh, uh, caulk and I'm going to mix some sand and gravel in there and then I'm going to coat all this to give it kind of a a concrete look when I'm finished but this is where we're at guys and it's only taken me about a half hour so we will be back so I am back and I did not get the caulking done because I decided to go with some planking for at least one side of the port here and so what you can see here are basically cocktail sticks or coffee stirrers I tried popsicle sticks but what I've come to realize is in most of those bags of popsicle sticks those sticks are warped so I about half of them that I tried to lay down wouldn't lay flat so I didn't have enough to do both sides plus I thought I didn't really want to do both sides so I did this side to kind of look like the main receiving area now the problem is I'm going to have to uh, paint over this when I prime it uh, so it's not going to have that natural wood look but uh, that's okay I think I'm going to cover these up though because I don't want to have to paint over those so I will find a way to keep those from getting painted over uh, I've also started like on a little path and that's just just cut up pieces of uh, cardboard which are not sticking unfortunately yeah I tried some wood glue but you can see here this I just noticed these are not sticking at all so I may have to go back and put crazy glue under most of those or put the glue on thicker this side is sticking sticking uh, and then I put some post here on the end so that's pretty much as far as I got tonight what I'm gonna do now is let this dry go back over and touch up this side with these tiles and then uh, we will see what it looks like in the morning uh, once I then I think I'll start putting the plaster on take care okay so I am back uh, I didn't wait a day I actually went ahead I've got some weight on the popsicle sticks or coffee stirs because they were starting to come up but you can see I have applied the uh, coat of caulk and sand and I will tell you that caulk is very hard to spread so if you can get a thin plaster that's better because even the spackling the spackling smooths off and the caulk really it, you have to use a lot I mean I barely had enough to do this one surface and this this styrofoam is actually terrible with anything adhering to it whether it's glue caulk or whatever it has kind of a shiny coating that just resists 
The main feature you will notice, however, is the canal waterway. And this is basically toilet paper and glue, which when it dries, it will give me that wave effect of waters running through the canal. And so I'm real happy with that, but you do gotta let it dry. Uh, the program I watched was saying that it had to dry for 72 hours, which would be three days. So I'm hoping it won't have to dry that long uh, here in Texas. It gets up to 80 or 90 degrees. So I'm going to sit this outside on my porch. But for now, I think that's as much as I can get done. And uh, once that dries, uh, we'll go about spray painting everything and then starting to uh, finish it up. So I hope you guys uh, hope you guys have picked up something from all of that yet. I mean, we're not quite done, but man, it's a long way off. I mean, it kind of went from an ideal in my head to this. And uh, what I do like about it is I can build on this with other other boards, start connecting them coming out. Uh, and even though this area is raised, which some of the other boards I might not, they might not be raised that high. Uh, Still, it's kind of its own little piece. It will stand out as its own little piece. And uh, you can use this in a lot of settings. You know, I could see this in an Oriental setting, a Western setting, Medieval, Renaissance setting, World War II setting. So, yeah, I thought it was a very good piece to kind of start building my, my custom terrain again. So I will check back in with you guys when all this is dry. Take care. Hey guys, so for this video I have decided to put a copy of Dwarf Wars Saga Iron Fist uh, by Frank Chadwick in the loot box. Now if you watch my video on my Shells of Shame, you will see this is one of the uh, books I mentioned that I was probably going to get out of my collection. And I figured rather than try to sell it, I'd give it to one of you guys and see if uh, you, know, you guys could uh, maybe play in this world created by Frank Chatwick. I'd love to see a video if you do. Take care. God bless. Don't forget to like and subscribe to be entered into the, uh, the drawing for the loot box. And what I will do in the video where we announce the drawing after we hit 1,000 subscribers, we are going to go through the box and take out everything that's in there and kind of review what the winner is going to get. And there will only be one winner. But you will have to be subscribed because I will check that when uh, the drawing pulls the name. Take care.